Representing hard work and talent, I am Sean the Storm Grant coming to you straight out of New York City. And today I am going to do another reaction, and this reaction is going to be of Mr. T from West Side Gun. Um, one thing that I mentioned in my uh, investigation into song reactions is that I'm jealous of people that have the ability to hear hit classic songs like Bohemian Rhapsody or Staying Alive uh, for the first time and be able to uh, share that moment uh, with other people. Well, that's the case here. I'm very lucky in that I've never heard the Griselda uh, Records uh, classics and I'm being put on to them by my uh, subscribers who are suggesting that I check this stuff out. It started when I did Conway's Lemon and then that moved on to me doing The Cow. Um, and now I'm getting a, ch uh, a chance to hear uh, Mr. T from West Side Gun and his classic uh, mixtape, uh, Fly God. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it. I figured out the picture-in-picture -picture thing, so now I get to have the, uh, the video going on in the, at the same time. Uh, that's why I'm sliding over here, so I put it up over here. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm excited about this because everything that I've heard from uh, Conway and Griselda Records has been uh, real rap. It's been the real deal. I, I said it's like I uncovered some new members of Wu-Tang, you know. And West Side Gun, I heard him on The Cow, and he has a very distinctive style. And uh, people tell me it's an acquired taste, and I could see that. It seems very real, you know, like... And very similar to Raekwon, I think. But uh, I'm going to find out right now what it's all about. we got Mr. T by West Side Gun. This has 3.6 million views, and it came out on December 9th of 2015 on YouTube. That's what they <laughs> Got that distinctive voice. Hey yo, hey yo, Mac and Max blowing up tiptoe. Fuck you mean I bent to Half my shooters sniff coat. With no aim, you better get low. Jack Maletta man's with a tech in it. Feed fuck niggas rope, don't put your neck in it. Got my troops in North White Pools. Pulled up, I have my foot hanging out the coop. Off white flame, looking like the lumberjack. The way this song starts is it's pretty interesting because he kind of just eases into the song. I couldn't tell if that was an intro, but apparently that's just him just starting the, the song. He just starts with a kind of a slow delivery, lets the lines, lets the bars flow, you know, very gradually. Um, I thought he was going to say a couple of things like that and then kick into a faster tempo, but I guess that's not the case here. Let's let it run. Feel to your songs. Just just grab a soul loop like this. It's not hard. This is what digging in the crates is all about. This is how you get these samples. Some really talented artists like Ghostface, like Raekwon, like Dr. Dre, they were raised on this music in their household and they wanted to flow on that and, and to honor that music by bringing it to a new generation of listeners. So that's one way you keep this music alive. But it's also another. It's also a way that you bring legitimacy to your sound, uh, and there are a lot of great soul records, a lot of great old school R and B records that nobody knows. Uh, so it's easy to go into a record store and flip through. I love looking at the album covers on stuff like this, old seventies, sixties records, and you can find something that you can loop that no one's looped yet. Everybody can eat the sky. Hey yo, tripods out of time. 
Teslas Scrape the pots for the extras Bodies dropping on the regular Run laps around these other rap niggas For fun and fashion week with the M1 Got yeah, niggas bumps Killer designer, serial killer Niggas thought I was just rhyming illa Then I pulled out the stick Run your jewels, run the money You try to run and hop the fence Tore us back up like junior niggas Filthy rich, watch my sin See now, music like this this one is just a vibe. This is like you're just chilling to this and letting it flow and it's in the background. You're not nece you're not into this song for the lyrical content necessarily. This guy is not using a real serious flow. He's not, you know, rapid fire. He's not showing a linguistic ability, but he is making real rap music that you can relate to and that you can chill to and listen to and vibe to. So that's what I that's what I can say. As long you walk for this work is flake, I'ma be fly fat in the stove work. She slipping so much molly, that bitch no sir. I was on the path, getting money on the ass. Fiends milly rockin' seeing at my work glass. If shit slow up, I'ma look prettier in the mask. The cracks in the chip bag, the mech by the trash. The 45 the big on his forehead. Shot him all times, left that nigga more dead. Shot him more times, make him more dead. That reminds me of that of one of my favorite lines from Rakim from The Punisher. He goes, Wake him up, kill him again. Like, I don't think you can make somebody more dead. I don't think you can kill somebody twice, but sometimes that's what these guys are feeling. One brick, one brick. All I need is one brick. Today, when I was talking about the uh, ASAP Ferg song Dennis Rodman, which I reviewed earlier today, you should check that out. And when I review all this stuff like this, where it's not that hard to make a good rap song that's real, all you have to do is just not be fake, make some lyrics that you feel that just talk about your personal experience and represent, you know, who you are and where you're from. Make a loop and just do it. And, you know, people would say this is a classic. I, I, I understand why. I mean, this is the kind of song that doesn't give you this unbelievable first impression. You have to live with this song. You you have to know it and spend time with it and get, get into a, the flow of it. So when I, when I first react to this, you know, I'm like, okay, this is cool. I get why people like this. Am I blown away? Is this the most amazing song I ever heard? No, but that's not the point. That's not, I can see myself listening to this again and enjoying it. And, and that's what a song like this achieves is you make a good loop, you make a good vibe, and then it starts to become part of your life and you associate a, a part of your life with it. And, you know, if you spend more time with it, like, I really, I, I can see why the Griselda record fans are so loyal and they love it so much because this is a continuation of the music that I love growing up. So it's great to hear that people still make music like that. And I will continue to do my reactions to the Griselda uh, record classics, you know, and I'll continue. Please keep giving me suggestions. I know I got a couple more suggestions from uh, some of the other guys. Uh, that have uh, that have been on like Homer Wisdom. Uh, he he gave me a whole list. I'm gonna do a bunch more of those, um, and we'll keep moving from there. You know, Sully187. That's another guy he he reacted to when I he he responded to when I reacted to the cow. Thank you. Keep guiding me through this. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, representing hard work and talent. Sean the Storm Grant here. Thanking all all my subscribers. All the people giving me responses in, in the comments section. And I'm just going to keep doing this. We're, I'm going to go through this little Griselda journey and listen to some really good, real rap music. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be giving some more posts. I'll put some more posts down today. All right? Peace.